Hey guys, welcome back. So, I was experimenting with something earlier, and I made something cool. Which is this. It is a feather that I made out of UV resin. With sparkly stuff. Kind of neat. Anyway, I figured I'd show you guys how I did it, so if you want to make them too, you can. If you have a uh, little feather inlays. Now these are feather inlays that I made out of a feather mold that I got from Michael's Craft Store about 10 million years ago. So what I'm going to do is I have two of my tiny little BB Craft silicone pots over here. Uh, and I put some UV resin in both. And I've got two different colors of chameleon powder. I've got cobalt violet and haldi brown. So I'm going to put some haldi brown in one and some cobalt in the other as soon as I pick up the stick. And I don't want a big, huge ton. I just want enough to, you know, color the UV resin. So there's my Haldi Brown. And here's my Cobalt Violet. Put my lids back on. Okay, so there's those two. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I'm getting out Old Faithful. So we can cure these when we need to. Now, next thing that I need to do is get an old ratty paintbrush that I don't mind chucking after I load it full of UV resin. So I'm going to do the cobalt violet first. So I'm taking my Haldi Brown and I'm putting it over here way out of range uh, because I don't want to have it accidentally cure. And I'm just put the paintbrush and I'm basically just painting the inlay. You can do this with any inlay. It doesn't have to be feathered. I just thought that the feathers were really cool looking. So that's what I'm doing. So now that I've got those, I'm going to put them under the UV light for 90 seconds. See you then. Alright, so these guys are done, so I'm going to set them over to the side for a second, and we're going to move on to these two, and we're going to use our Haldi Brown. Get the excess off of my brush. Mix this up just a little bit. Get to painting. And back under for another 90 seconds. All right. So now that these are all are done, what we're going to do. And there you have a really cool UV resin feather. Now you can make as many layers as you want. Just do thin layers at a time and uh, curing in between. Um, I usually cure them for about 90 seconds. So see, just got one. Very cool. The Holly Brown. One side is matte, of course, because it was against the silicone. 
and the silicone is matte, and then one side is shiny. So once you have all of them out, I flip them over to the side that was against the silicone, and nuke them under the microwave, UV microwave, for another 90 seconds. See you then. All right. So here we have it, guys. Very cool. Very awesome. UV resin feathers. Which you can use for darn near anything. Like I said, you can use any mold you want. I mean, any inlay that you have. Just paint it with UV resin and, and thin layers, and there you go. <laughs> So, you'll be seeing these in another project uh, very soon, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for being here, guys. We'll see you again on the next one. Take care. Cheers.